Hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite sports uncle here. Before we dive in, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you, so hit that subscribe button or I might just make a grown man cry. What a game. The Buffalo Bills handed the Kansas City Chiefs their first loss of the season today, with Josh Allen rushing for a crucial touchdown on fourth down. I'm honestly puzzled by the Chiefs' decision-making. Everyone knows that when the game is on the line, you want the ball in Josh Allen's hands. It's worked for him before, and today was no different. The Bills scored an impressive 30 points against a Chiefs defense that hadn't allowed more than 30 points since week four of 2022. We also saw Patrick Mahomes struggle, throwing two interceptions. With this win, Allen improves his record to 4-1 against Mahomes in regular season play, and the Bills are now only half a game behind Kansas City for the top seed in the AFC. Now, let's talk about Mahomes. He is a historically great player, no one can deny that, but right now, he's not playing at the level we expect from him. Being critical of a great player doesn't mean we're downplaying their achievements. The reality is, Mahomes has been turning the ball over more than we're used to. In almost every game this season, he's had at least one turnover. It feels like we're at a point where fans are hoping for just a few clean possessions from him rather than expecting stellar play across the board like we used to. In a match where your defense gives up 30 points, you need your star QB to step up and match that offensive output. This used to be a no-brainer. If you wanted to beat the Chiefs, you needed at least 28 or 30 points. Let's also give credit where it's due. The Bills executed their game plan beautifully. They mounted five scoring drives of at least eight plays and 60 yards, with four ending in touchdowns and one in a field goal. Josh Allen finished 27 of 40 for 262 yards, with one touchdown and one interception, and he ran 31 times for 104 yards. On the other hand, we look at Patrick Mahomes' 23 of 33 for just 198 yards. He's had a few 300-yard games this season, but it's starting to feel like a rarity. Coming off a Super Bowl championship title means everyone is gunning for you, and opposing teams have scrutinized every play from his playbook. Andy Reid needs to keep finding creative ways to keep defenses guessing. But let's talk more about Josh Allen. He's really come into his own this year. With his size and athleticism, he poses a serious challenge for defenders. It used to be that he turned the ball over in critical moments, but lately, he's been remarkably careful, avoiding costly mistakes. Let's face it, if I told you a quarterback had thrown 11 games this season for 2,400 yards with 15 touchdowns and 11 interceptions, you'd assume their team is struggling. Yet here we are with Mahomes at 9-1. That says a lot about the depth of the Chiefs' overall talent. But those turnovers are a significant worry. So, as Buffalo fans celebrate, they should keep in mind that Mahomes is 3-0 against them in postseason matchups. It's a tough road ahead. But with the way things are shaping up, it looks like the Bills are a force to be reckoned with this season. What do you think? Are the Bills a better team this year than in previous years? Let me know in the comments below.